420 couldn't have come at a better time. There might be some THC, CBD, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a custom piece that I had made by Daniel Jewelry Inc. that I commissioned a few weeks back and I finally got it in hand. I haven't seen it and we're gonna look at it together for the first time. Let's roll my motherfucking music because I'm dying to see this shit. I'm kind of a big deal. What's up, morning, my beautiful people? You know who it is. It's your boy. See to you today. Happy 420. Spark up everything you have like a crazy. Just ooh, burn it out. I know Red Man and Method Man versus is tonight. So listen, smoke weed every day. I'm not particularly a ring guy but I feel like I've gotten custom pieces for all facets. I got my custom chain, got my custom bracelet. I needed a custom ring to represent me, my brand, my craziness. Now everybody knows I'm a little annoying. I'm a little Liberace-ish. I'm a little bit turned up. I'm a little stupid. So I gave David over at DJI some bullet points of what I was looking for, some design aspects, but I'm also the type of dude that likes to let a creative person's juices flow because I feel that the more pressure you put on somebody, the less actual creative performance that you can get out of them. Like my tattoo artist, shout out to Buster over at Leatherneck Tattoos. I give pinpoints and little ideas of what I'm looking for and I let him go. That's why I love the artistic pieces that I have on my sleeve because they're perfect for me. Might not be for you, but they're perfect for me and that's the point of jewelry in itself. What looks dope to me, might look trash to you and vice versa. Beautifully subjective, nobody's wrong in this scenario. There were certain details that I wanted in this ring. I saw some renderings, but obviously I haven't seen a finalized product or even close to it because I like the element of surprise, especially since I'm a content creator. So we're gonna be looking at this shit together. Now, I have another camera set up. I'm gonna show you the up close unboxing because we're gonna look at it together. Hopefully, hopefully, it's as dope as I'm hoping. Let's get to this shit. So here is the Daniel Jewelry Inc. ring box. It's pretty standard. We all seen it a hundred times. The shit got a light in it, big fucking whoop. Now we are going to look at this for the first time together and hopefully I'm happy or if I'm not, well, we'll find out too. So let's crack this shit open. And of course it comes wrapped in the fucking paper because why just destroy my fucking soul and not just, you know, oh, damn it. All right. I'm gonna put the box to the side and we're gonna take over, take off the wrapping itself. Yo, I'm hyped, bro. I'm kind of nervous. Uh, part of me is a little bit nervous and I need a drink. Hold on. Cheers. All right, here we go. Now this is a pinky ring. I forgot to mention that. This is a pinky ring because I wanted to be a little bit ostentatious. I wanted to be a little Liberace. I wanted to walk around with robes like Walter Mercado. So this might be in that space. All right, let's get this shit open and let's see it for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, the Cubano Pinky Ringing. Holy shit. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at the cage on this shit. <gasps> Dude, this shit came out crazy. So what we have here is VS to SI quality diamonds all around. And then we have a man-made sapphire in the middle. Now, Kuba, why don't you get a GIA certified sapphire? Because that's on my wife's finger, not mine. This was me playing around with design aspects and also budget. Let's keep it a thousand. So I had to play with budget. I also have to manage my money accordingly. And I just broke the ring. Sick. Let me see if it even fits. Wow, it fits perfectly. Kiss the ring, bitch! It's 14 karat gold, again, synthetic CZ diamond in the middle. It's not a true sapphire. These are VS diamonds. They're not lab, obviously. We got enamel work and this kind of fillery or kind of paisley style look 
all over the sides. I thought it was gonna be a lot more gaudier and louder, but it actually just fills out perfectly. Now, the reason why I went with Sapphire and I didn't want a large center diamond, uh, again, budget was definitely something, but it was more so that I wanted to stand out a little bit different. I kind of liked always the pinky rings that the old Mulberry Street mobsters used to wear and shit like that. And that was kind of my kind of vibe. I'm super happy with the fucking ring. I mean, this is super difficult in ammo work, especially with the cursive. Like you can see the struggle in this shit. I'm super happy guys. I hope you guys like this type of vibe. And again, shout out to Daniel Jewelry Inc. It took some time to create and this is, this is kind of lit. Let me know what you guys think. Is, is this your style of shit? Would you get something like this? Or is this not really your type of boat? I'm kind of like at a loss for words. Like this is a lot more than I anticipated as far as appearance wise and look, this might just be like a more often wear, not fully daily, way more often. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, the biggest in the game. Yo, my mind is blown. Right now, it's next level. I'm killing the fucking game. I mean, I wanna be just as hype as I wanna fucking be, but this shit is crazy. So, Pete, I told you in the beginning of the video that I gave David over at DJI Creative Liberties to do what they want. Just like my tattoo artist, I tell people, yo, this is my budget. Do what you can within my budget, but I want it to be very much me. It has my brand on it. I'm very loud and ostentatious sometimes. I'm all about my brand. I rock my brand. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody's gonna believe in you, right? But my logo is on the ring. And he hit me up. He's like, yo, I got notification that you got the package. Did you see the package? Did you like the ring? I go, yeah. I love the ring. It's exactly all the points that I hit. He goes, but did you see what I did? I go, yeah, I like all the detail. He goes, nah. And he sent me a video of something that fucked my head up and next level of gasness in here, the helium levels. Well, let me show you, cause this is killing the game. So clearly you can see my ring. It's my ring. It's got my logo on it. It's got the synthetic stone in it. He goes, do yourself a favor, hold it and turn it. I'm like, turn it. He's like, yeah, turn it. So I'm turning it. And I'm like, oh, the shit rotates. And then what happens is, I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's very difficult. It comes off. I'm like, what the fuck? And you got your boy's motherfucking face in the ring, fam. The bottom of the synthetic stone is my face in all its glory. So what I can do here is, yo, come off. <laughs> yo, we got my face in the back of my stone with my logo and shit. Yo, shout out to Daniel Jewelry Ring. That's my peoples, that's fam, yo. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. This is next level narcissism <laughs> at its finest. When you rocking your face on your pinky ring, shirt, chain, and bracelet, I got seriously, I need to book an appointment with a therapist. I'll see y'all bitches again next time. You know what is biggest in the game, smooches.